Well, I'm back. It's me. It's me, child. Miss A-N-N-I-E. Yes, it's me. Woo, it's me. Woo, Miss Annie. And I've got good news. Good news. Have I got news for you? Today, I am going to make with my very own hands that God gave me. These hands are purposeful, and these hands have been created just for me. God didn't give me 11 fingers and 12 toes. He gave me 10 fingers. I've got a thumbkin. I've got a pointer. I've got the tall man. I've got the little uh, sister, I forget what you call it, the, the ring finger and the baby finger. And I'm just as blessed as I can be. I have experienced a lot of different trauma during this pandemic and losses. My dog, loved ones, friends, family members, the community people. It has been a really hard time. But at the same time, if I didn't pray and if I didn't have my faith, what? This, let me show you. This is what I just made in my last Andy the Kinder Clown YouTube tutorial. Just made this cross and we updated it just so that you guys would see how to clean up the scraps and things of that nature. So go visit Andy the Kinder Clown on YouTube and subscribe so that you can stay in the loop of what we're doing. Well, let's just get right into it, shall we? I'm going to make a Bible. I'm going to use two sets of 160 balloons. And if you look at my tutorial previously, of uh, my Palm Sunday, you will see uh, how I used my Qualitex pocket hand pump to inflate. The nozzle on this is made specifically for 160 balloons, and I'll demonstrate in just a little while. But right now, I wanna make the Bible because it is the Bible that changed my life. I heard the word of God. I received the word of God. And Jesus received me. Isn't that wonderful? I'm gonna make a little bar like that. I'm going to take my other balloon and wrap it around. <clears throat> that bubble on the bottom there. I'm going to do a bubble, small little half inch bubble. I'm going to make, I'm gonna wrap it around. This bubble you see that? Wrap it around. Pinch. And we're going to do what's called a roll through. Now the 160 balloons may not be the very best choice of balloons in making your Bible, but it's what I chose to use because I had so much in my inventory. So I'm just gonna just watch and if you have to stop and rewind to see what I am making, then go right ahead. But that's the concept. We're gonna roll, twist it around like that. And it's almost just like making a dress. You're gonna pinch. Okay, you want all of your balloons to be symmetrical. Pinch, pinch the other opposite balloon, twist it around. We're not going to make a real big Bible. I just want to make 
a Bible large enough to be configured on a centerpiece that I am creating, but I'm gonna turn it up like that. So some of the balloons are going to look like they are getting smaller and smaller. Well, that's just the direction that I'm going in <laughs> with this design and you'll understand it better as we say by and by. Okay. This is more so a show and tell video, not so much for the purposes of uh, teaching so much because I just want to uh, share with you how I am creating this centerpiece that I am making for a very special person for Easter. So I'm just going to pop that off. Okay, and just wrap that balloon around the bubble and through. Do the same on this side, pop it. I just wanted to give you an idea of something to think about when it comes down to faith-based balloon designs and I accidentally forgot to put my bubble on there or either it came off. So let's just go ahead and address fixing that. <laughs> I do however recommend using a 260, uh, 260 balloons for this particular design because your balloons would be not as spaced out as these are. But it's okay, it's all good. It's COVID, we're in this pandemic, and I'm trying to use the balloons that I currently have uh, so that they don't lose its luster and so that the lifespan of the balloons uh, don't expire in terms of quality. You have to be careful with the shelf life of balloons when you're a decorator and etc. And see all of the scraps? We're just gonna cut the scraps off just to make the balloon look a little cleaner and polished. And this is what we want. Now, if you turn it up this way, it's a little dress or it can be a backpack and things of that nature. But I'm just playing around with the balloons today to make my Bible, my Bible. So I'm going to take another set of 160 balloons. Say that with me, 160. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> I'm making a Bible as a part of a centerpiece. And once we put it all together, I will post it on my Facebook page. And you guys are welcome to visit my Facebook page and uh, just see all of the wonderful things that Annie the Kinder Clown does on Facebook. I like to share because when I got started in the business, there weren't very many people who were willing to share and take me under their wing. I said, oh my goodness. We're gonna make a little bubble right here. And on this side, just wrap it like that. I made a little boo-boo. But what I like about being a balloon artist is you don't have to be stressed about stuff if you are not in a competition. Now, if you're in a competition and you are required to have stuff done a certain way, you know what? That's made wrong. Hold on. 
We're going to do it right. <laughs> We're going to do this thing right. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. See that 160? I'm going to show you how I usually do it. I'm trying to duplicate how I saw someone doing it recently. Excuse me. But you have to be creative in your own right and do things the way that you are familiar with. You can't expect people to just turn into a pumpkin, a magic pumpkin uh, overnight. And I was trying to try a new and different way to do this thing, but that's not the way you do it. Hold on. Okay. Okay, you see that? Now I'm going to fold it over like that. That's where I want to go with it. <laughs> That's where I'm going. <laughs> now you can securely wrap this around that bubble and it'll stay in place. Make your bubble. Use your eyes and your hand for coordination to make sure that what you are doing is coming along in a way that's pleasing you. Now you want to roll this, not roll it, but just twist it like that. That locks it in place. You see the little bubbles on the side? Don't make them too large because then you have a whole lot of space in between. You just want to fold it over like that. You're going to twist, pinch right here. Pinch. See that? Pinch it. You see this one? Make a bubble. Pinch. And then just wrap that around there. And you have this. Okay. Pinch. And you're gonna take these two balloons and twist them. And then the whole time your hand, this hand is still in place. Okay, watch it again. Pinch and twist. Okay, you're going to cross that balloon over on the other side, right? Then you're gonna do what? Pinch and twist and hold on to that. Make a bubble, a small bubble that looks the same size as all of your other bubbles. This particular tutorial is more so for people that may already have uh, skills in the fine art of balloon twisting. And this is just a show and tell, basically to show you guys how I am making my Bible. So this has about a set of five, okay, loops. So I've got one, two, three, four, and we need one more to make five, make a bubble, twist it. That's what locks it in. Pinch and twist. Pinch and twist, and then make your bubble here. Pinch. Wrap it around. Like that. Okay. Pinch again. This bubble. And you're going to roll it. Twist it with your thumb. Just like that. And guess what? You have all and they're pretty much symmetrical 
So now what you want to do is you want to pinch, twist, and do a pinch, twist, and just pop off the excess, the part that you don't need. But save your scraps, because you can always use those scraps toward other designs. You see there? On my Facebook page, you will see Annie the Kinder Clown. Under my decorations uh, album, a lot of my creative designs, including dresses that I have made for little girls, hats, and even gear for, for little boys. Now, the way that I am going to do my Bible, I'm sorry, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so you see the two bubbles, this one, that one, this one, that one. All you're going to do is take them and twist them together one or two good times. That's all you do. And down the bottom, you are going to join them, marry the two of them, and twist. Just like that. It's coming along nicely. It looks like you have an open Bible. Now, I am going to need my yellow balloon. Hold tight, hold tight for a second. So here's a yellow Qualitex. 160. You see the bubbles right here. Let me show you the rear of the Bible. These are the pages. You want to kind of camouflage that so that you can't see through it. Typically, I would have used a balloon that was not transparent, <laughs> but had a little bit more Hold on, I have something better. Let me show you this one. You want to hide and camouflage, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that particular uh, part of the balloon. Isn't that something? I don't think I have any more of my yellow. The orange... Mandarin yellow. Hold on a sec. Let's see here. A color such as this is typically what I would say use so that you are not able to see that the seams are not, uh, you don't want them to be visible. But I'm going to use my 260 balloon, which is a larger size, and my 260 Carla Text hand pump. And just inflate that. You don't have to inflate it all the way up. And just tie a knot in it. Tie it the best way you can. And just squeeze it and... Just kind of stretch it a little because you don't want it to be too fat. So in these bubbles right here, to complete your Bible, you're going to take this nozzle, pull it down, and wrap it around. Just that easy. You're going to pull this up, and then you're going to run it down the back. So in your bubbles, in that bubble, I'll show you in just a second, this is what you have. Bibles this day, guys, and you're going to do the same on the reverse side. Bibles these days, come in so many various different colors. In the past, I've always made my Bibles with the border of a black balloon. Okay, pinch that off. 
break it off. This is a scrap. You don't throw those away. You're, you may need that to tie balloons together at some point. You can be creative and inventive when it comes to being a balloon artist. If you do it as a hobby, that's fine. If you do it otherwise, that's fine too. I'm going to use a crystal clear. I would prefer a balloon that you can't see through, but the crystal clear is what I have in my inventory right now. And that's what we're gonna work with. We're just gonna wrap that nozzle with that Bible. We're going to, from every corner, just wrap that Bible all around. I feel the air coming out of something. Or was that me? <laughs> so anyway, we're just gonna put a little bubble on the end, like that. Do the same, wrapping your vibe, and it just secures it when you put that little bubble on the end. You can opt to do it or not. I'm sorry. Okay, and I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around each part that has uh, see bubbles bubbles everywhere some are here and some are there as kinderman would say <laughs> I am making this tutorial because I am excited about Palm Sunday and any day that I remember as I reflect often when I'm reading my Bible. That is where the juice is, honey. <laughs> yes, you get your strength. You get your courage. The Bible is for righteousness. It's for rebuke. It's for the man of God to be thoroughly furnished in all things. The Bible is not just for you to just read and hit people over the head with it and think, oh, I know more Bible or, or more word than you. No, what the Bible is for instruction, it says, in righteousness. I may not be saying it in the proper order, but... Just remember the word of God is for instruction and in righteousness so that you who proclaim Christ can share the good news, the good news, and I got news for you. And we're just going to pop that bubble. You can put a whole nother row of red around the border if you would like just wrap that scrap see the scrap just wrap it around just to secure it in there and then just cut it off you can write on your bible when you give this balloon to someone as a gift i'm sorry i would do it like this and right on there, a verse, you make the verse short, but then always reference the verse of where it can be found. So when you're doing a script and writing on your Bible, you could put on here, for example, my theme is John 3.16. For God so loved the world. I'm just cleaning this up. <laughs> That he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so it is. That's my Bible and my show and tell for today. 
And I want you guys to know that Annie the Kinder Clown loves to share the inspiration of it all. I am still learning as I have goals. Just remember during this pandemic that you can what? Bounce back soon. Look for Miss Annie the Kinder Clown on my Facebook page to see the full design that I have made as I have attended recently the Colitex Convention with the Q Corner. I'm just so grateful for all of the instructors. Give them a hand. <laughs> it was awesome, 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 honey. I want to show you my show and tell. I'm just going to turn the chair around for a second. You can't see this one, so I'm going to have to bring it up here. These are my inspired designs that I learned uh, from instructors in the Q Corner of how to use uh, the balloons in another creative way. I tell you, check the Q Corner out for details on how to use the uh, linking balloons by Qualitex. Linking balloons, I've double stuffed them. One of the instructors got so creative, she put blush <laughs> on the uh, balloons and I had totally forgotten about putting blush on them. And then we use glue to glue down some of the mechanics of our balloons, excuse me. So I have glue dots that I purchased. Okay, here's another favorite, the ladybug. You see her little body? Well, I happen to have a ladybug that had uh, some color to her and she is really cute i had these in my inventory and i didn't want to lose the inventory because it's we're in the middle of this pandemic so i wanted to make sure that i put the balloons that i had in my inventory to good use and i have my chrome balloons as well as my carnival assortment by uh, Qualitex Balloons. This is the green, the chrome. Beautiful. And I stuffed these with the, uh, you'll see in the description when I have an opportunity to share all of the details on my page. But anyway, there's my bunny. It's not about the Easter bunny for me for Easter, but it's all about the Savior and Him coming to set us free. So I leave you guys with this thought. Always remember that there's always better. There's good, there's better, there's best. You never let it rest until your good becomes your better. And your better becomes your best. And just know that the gifts and talents that you see, they came from J-E-S-U-S. -S. God blessed me and I give him praise and I give him glory. Here's my helium inflated balloon. Happy Easter, happy Palm Sunday. Happy Resurrection from Annie the Kinder Clown and my little friends. <laughs> Have a great and a blessed day. And don't forget to like and subscribe because every season we've got special designs coming your way. I am going to be adding my Bible on this beautiful centerpiece that I just showed you. And it's going to be wonderful, or I may add it uh, on a different centerpiece and just get creative all together. But this has been a wonderful day. It has been the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, and I will be glad in it. Happy Easter, happy resurrection, 
Happy Palm Sunday from Annie. Here's your show and tell.